scorer, their leading rebounder, and second in assist to Chelsea Gregg. She impacts every part of the ball game. She's terrific. Well, Mary, let's take a look at the lineup starting with the Washington Mystics. It seems like everything is the same there, as well as John Butler. And the Sparks. Great defensive play by Cloud, one of the best defenders in the WNBA at six foot. Chrissy Tolliver turns down the outside shot. Elena Deladon working the baseline. Fine Sanders, Ariel Atkins. And that's a quick three for Ariel Atkins. Knows what she's bringing to the floor now, but I, I like the growth that she's had because she continues to look for her shot. Neka spin around, no good. Tanea Gumake cleans up underneath. For First shot for Candace Parker is no good as Christy Tolliver gets the offense going for the Mystics. Natasha Cloud guarded by Tanea Gumake, who finds Tolliver on the opposite side. A lot of ball movement for the Mystics and their successful turnover trying to thread the needle getting the ball to Tanea Gumake. Natasha Cloud all the way to the right does it turnovers that the Sparks have, and I know it's really hurt in that New York Liberty game because when they turn seven to five, Mystics favor. Seven to two, excuse me. Candace Parker to Ruffin Pratt. Gets the block call, but it will be called on the floor, so the basket. Chrissy Tolliver working the baseline. We know that she can do that so well. She spent a lot of time here with the Sparks as another three. Chrissy Tolliver continues to push the pace. Sanders to Cloud. And another three is drained by the miss. While I was with the NBA, and it's all go. The guys respect her so much. You can see her putting them through conditioning and the workouts before the game, and they just admire her, her style, her basketball mind. It's really interesting. But building on that, now a coach in the NBA. Neka Agumake is now at the free throw line. Knocks down the first. We're all right. We're good. Calm down and just making sure that she's that anchor for them to get them going on the offensive end. I mean, I think the key for Washington is you want to take advantage of this and, and pile this lead up if you can. Can't pile the lead. <laughs> well, you do pile the lead there. And they get hot from the three-point line. They have those assassins. As you can see, she tore off Walker Kimbrough. Little head fake, head and shoulder fake. You got to stay down on that. And she just coasts right in for a layup. Candace Parker inside, trying to scoop it over Elena Deladon. She tore Walker Kimbrough with the ball, guarded by Sydney Weiss. Once again to the bucket, but that is short, and there's a late call on the play. Hit a layup drill. Talking with and rotating in that right direction, and we haven't seen that rotation. Five points, Chrissy Tolliver, three, spread out. Ariel Atkins having the perfect night with those two early threes that went off, and another over for the Sparks. They are sitting at 7%. Still effort on the defensive end, and then how you can create some Offense. I think the goal is not to let it get any bigger. Christy Tolliver working on the inside. She gets the bump and the little, foul. And a bigger said like absolutely. Tries to split that help. She knocks down that. So the memories that she's created here and winning the champion. She said, well, what did you do? She said, well, I didn't go to Roscoe. So I don't think anybody's trip to LA should be complete without Roscoe. 21 on the shooting clock. Neca finds Sydney Weiss for three. Big three. Working it on the inside, takes it on her own. Nothing there. Four seconds left for the Sparks, but yet another turnover. One second on the clock. And none other than the buzzer beater, her first quarter ends with a turnover. That Washington turns into points and that pretty much sums up the first quarter turnovers nine of them by los angeles and washington take please the first defensive series chanae Gouma, or neka gumake comes up with the steal but yet another turnover and shatori walker kimbrough full speed finishes for two on the opposite end yeah that thing was over by half court the track meet commenced and it was a blow by so now the sparks have as many turnovers as points Kalani Brown in throughout the early this season, and that is everyone. 
Kwani Brown said, I just needed some time to. And once again, the Mystics trying to see if they can get some quick offense. Outside shot by Natasha Cloud, no good, but another second chance opportunity. And you can count that one for Shatori Walker Kimbrough. Point for both squads, seeing who can hold on to the ball. Toy Sanders, I was playing tremendous defense. And the take going towards the basket with power. Free throw shooter, but misses the first one, drains the second. Real powers, <laughs> and rightfully so. <laughs> Gets a hand on the ball. Power still ends up with the basketball, working the baseline. Attracts four yellow jerseys. You saw it there, didn't you? Maybe turns down the three, working the baseline as well. Neca looking for a shot, but it's so clogged up. Standing. And yet another two on the Powers on the baseline. Little inside out. Strong to the bucket. One more time. Goes right at NECA, goes right at four different spots. So fired up about the return of Candace Parker. It's just like all the air went out of the balloon. Well, the Mystics right now shooting over 50%, both from the three point line and field goal. As Can Chelsea Gray. Trying to see if she can connect with Kalani Brown. She works out. Now she's trying to get the whole side cleared out oh, as Hawkins is defending her. Tough and shot. Does. Has two. She's only taken two shots. Shows you how spread out it has been in balance for this Mystic squad. They've been moving the ball around in their offense. Everyone's touched it, as you can see there. Each person on the floor is a throw the floor with her six points. And she through yet? Not yet, but I'm really debating it because the gas is getting high. Chelsea Gray going past Cloud all the way to the rim, but does not finish. And Neko Gumake. Players that are in the top for eight. Neko on the season averaging a and yet another turnover. That's gonna be 14 for the Sparks, and it's gonna lead to two points. On the other end, seeing if she can get some offense going. Nice job on the box out by Mabry. A quick spin by Neka Gumake. Way to get open. In seasons past, Neka said, I trust her with passing. And Candace Parker saying, look, I can throw it anywhere. And right sent from the three-point line, 21 from the field. Trying to figure things out. As they cut over six foot, tremendous defense by Cloud. Ariel Atkins doing nine points per game this season. Right now she is at 12. We are not even finished with the first half. There's a block call. And that's her third, and that's a significant foul. Candace Parker doesn't connect on the first. As you say, Mary. Kind of sums up how this first half has gone for them offensively. And really turns into it as well. Right now, Elena Deladon with eight and connecting. It's continued to clog up the paint, making it difficult, especially with their length, for anyone to shoot over. But Mabry finally connects. But that's how its length does on that drive by Chelsea Gray. Deladon. Outside, short, but gets her own rebound all the way to the rim. And Mary, you can put me on repeat. She fit. Chelsea Gray with four points. There is no spark player in double figures at this point in the game. Neko Gumake trying to force the situation. And once again, now that the Sparks are in the bonus. For LA, Vets. More women Vets. Neka Gumake trying to see if she can shoot over Sanders, and that's no good. She's on the floor, and it will be a jump ball there. Can we? But he said there are so many players on my squad defensively that stand out. Latoya was one of them, as well as Clap. Candace Parker finds Neka Gumake underneath again, but it is blocked by Sanders, and it will go to Watson. What did you pick up? Coach Steve 
You know, I was surprised at what he said. He said that they need to come out and be better and stronger in the second half. So they just with four minutes to go and blew that game. So yeah, they're not gonna take this lead and, and just sit back in their rocket chairs. They know there is work to do. You can see the sense of urgency. I'm not gonna say anything about the turnover. Really. Atkins wide open in the corner. I go three of six, so certainly capable. Candace Parker with the skip, finding Neca in the corner. And for Neca with it. Ironically, Mary, 27 to 23. The Sparks are winning in the department for the rebounds. They just haven't had the ability to come on the offensive end. Chelsea Gray rises up. Had double figures rebounding in, in a game yet. Today, already with 14. Moving the ball from side to side. Sanders gets an open look, nothing there, but what a cleanup by Ariel Act. Yes, another one. And yes, another one by Ariel Atkins, 22 points. And Mary, what makes that series? Next stop, Vegas, after that, Atlanta, and then Chicago as Tanea Gulake connects. Aladon, MVP against MVP. Five on the shot clock. Two, as Natasha Clouds gets all the way to the rim to beat the buzzer. Brown turns the ball over, so you have Sydney Weiss as well as Mabry and Raquana Williams, and a turnover, which leads. Yeah, it's one of those games where you start looking up stats, isn't it? Fewest points this year was against Vegas opening night. That was 70. LA would need 32 points here in the fourth quarter to equal that. Having a monstrous game. Terrific ball game. See a piece underneath with a nice up and under. This LA Sparks team. Well, just went. As Sid Weiss misses one, but connects on the other, but shot clock at 10. Christy Tolliver trying to work something for the offensive side. Finds Tori Walker Kimbrough in the corner. And triple for Washington tonight. Season high, 13. Came against Chicago. Jenea Gumake connects. And then compete. Whenever we hang our heads and you know, we don't get back, as you say. Don't let the... I mean, so that when you look at the final score, it's 25 minutes of play, one for line from here as Sid Weiss comes up with the ball. Shanae Gumake cleans up, and underneath she is fouled, and that foul is gonna go again. A couple of wanted the ball in her hands, and she played with such... Mike Tebow put it best, didn't he? She can't get here soon enough. <laughs> there was a lot of passion in those words. Approaching the four-minute mark here in the fourth quarter, Sid Weiss on the outside for a three. Hawkins picked up her fifth foul on the night. We're still sitting at 71-49, everything Mystics, and Tiana Hawkins trying to get past Powers, and that's a tough task to do as she cleans it up and will pick up two points on the night in Derek. Sunday in Phoenix. And Jeff Metcalf with the, Repu the Arizona Republic was saying, but you know what, I'm, I'm okay with the schedule because they don't have any back-to-backs. And he said, for the West Coast trips, they also get a day break in between. He said, we try and find something good for the team to do while we're here. But that's what, when you're looking at just gaining the confidence at home, they've been able to do so. And they are on a tear in the league so far. John Quill Jones, I mean. <laughs> with her hat to her, as you said, the player of the week, as well as the Storms, Natasha Howard for the Western Conference. It's a half court right here, tries to finish and hard foul. Trying to coast her way in and Raquana Williams says, nope. So the ruling on the floor is a 
will have the double. It's one of those game films that will be. Shot no good by Mabry for Kalani Brown. Clean without Candace Parker and Maria Vadiva in the lineup. Eight points. It is a stagger. Back to back losses for the Sparks. It's 81 52. It's Oliver 12. So that will be here. It's here and a tough loss for the Sparks. More players and double figures for the Mystics, but we'll be right back. We got Ariel Atkins.